Welcome to this service. At entrance, you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the dead peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light. Amen. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. The Bible, Matthew 22, part 34 to 46, which command is the most important? The Pharisees learned that Jesus had made the Sadducees look so foolish that they stopped trying to argue with him. So the Pharisees had a meeting. Then one of them, an expert in the law of Moses, asked Jesus a question to test him. He said, Teacher, which command in the law is the most important? Jesus answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and most important command. And the second command is like the first, love your neighbor the same as you love your, yourself. All of the law and the writings of the prophets take their meaning from these two commands. Is the Messiah David's son or David's Lord? So while the Pharisees were together, Jesus asked them a question. He said, What do you think about the Messiah, whose son he is? The Pharisees answered, The Messiah is the son of David. Jesus said to them, Then why did David call him Lord? David was speaking by the power of the Spirit. He said, The Lord God said to my Lord, Sit by me at my right side, and I will put your enemies under your control. 
David calls the Messiah Lord. So, how can he be David's son? None of the Pharisees could answer Jesus' question, and after that day, no one was brave enough to ask him any more questions. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Epistle, Roman 15, part 9 to 13. The scriptures say, So I will give thanks to you among the people of other nations. I will sing praise to your name. And the scriptures say, You people of other nations should be happy together with God's people. The scriptures also say, Praise the Lord, all you people of other nations. All people should praise the Lord. And Isaiah says, Someone will come from Jesus' family. He will come to rule over the nations, and they will put their hope in him. I pray that the God who gives hope will fill you with much joy and peace as you trust in him. Then you will have more and more hope, and it will flow out of you by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Gospel, John 19, part 38 to 42. Jesus is buried. Later, a man named Joseph from Arimatha asked plate for the body of Jesus. Joseph was a follower of Jesus, but he did not tell anyone because he was afraid of the Jewish leaders. Pilate said Joseph could take Jesus' body, so he came and took it away. Nicodemus went with Joseph. He was the man who had come to Jesus before, before and talked to him at night. He brought, he brought about 100 pounds of spices, a mixture of myrrh and aloes. These two men took Jesus' body and wrapped it in the pieces of lin linen cloth with the spice, uh, spices. This is uh, how the Jews bury people. In the place where Jesus was killed on the cross, there, were, there was a garden. In the garden, there was a new tomb. No one had ever been buried there before. The men put Jesus in the tomb because it was near, and the Jews were preparing to start their Sabbath day. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 A love song. This beautiful song makes my heart very happy. I will sing this special poem to the king. My voice is ready to sing it very well, as well as a clever writer can write with a pen. You are the most handsome man that there is. You speak kind words in a beautiful way, as and so God will continue to bless you forever, me. Brave soldier, wear your sword at your side. Show what a great king you are. Wear your royal clothes and ride out to win against your enemies. 
win the war on behalf of truth and justice then your strong right hand will do powerful things hallelujah amen your sharp arrows will cut into the heart of your enemies nations will fall down under your feet god you will continue to rule as king always and forever your authority as king will bring justice to your people you love people to do what is right and you have anything that is and you hate and you hate anything that is evil so god your god has chosen you to be greater than all your people he has put special olive oil on you to make you happy all your clothes have the beautiful smell of myrrh aloes and cassia you hear the music of a string strange instruments that comes from beautiful palaces that makes you happy hallelujah the daughters of kings are among your visitors your royal bride stands at your right hand she is wearing gold from ophir royal daughter listen to me listen carefully to what i am saying forget your people and your family you are very beautiful and the king will want to be with you he is your master so respect him rich people will come from tyre tyre to give gifts to you they will want you to help them the king's bride is the palace and she looks beautiful her dress has gold threads in it now they lead her to the king in the in her beautiful clothes her young friends follow after her to bring her to the king they are very happy as they walk together and they go into the king's palace you will have sons to become kings as your ancestors were kings before you you will make them princess a uh, princess to rule over all the land in future years i will cause people to remember that you are a great king then people will praise you always and forever hallelujah amen preaching do you feel your praise prayers go on unanswered god always listening to your heart and will answer these six prayers finding peace god wants us to enjoy life he does not want us to be slaves to anxiety and sadness he will answer all cries for peace i have told you these things so that in me you may have peace in this world you will have trouble but take heart i have overcome the world blessed with them if you lean in on god's grace and not on your own understanding tough times will be a little easier if you ask for wisdom in understanding your situation he will answer but the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure then peace loving considerate submiss submissive full of mercy and good fruit imperial and sincere forgiveness you are a sinner we all are your sins are your stumbles and sometimes a downward spiral confess your sins he hears your heart and will forgive you no matter what the sin come now let us settle the matter says the lord tough your sins and like scarlet they shall be as white as in snow tough tough they are red as crimson they shall be like wool let me hear you you want good god to give you answers 
you want him to hear from your crazy word. Life can be so loud at times that you cannot hear him. Stop, sit, be still, ask him to reveal himself to you. You will hear him with an inner voice, tough, through a friend or maybe a dream. He will answer, I, can, I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. Strength Life can come to you like a freight train. At times you feel you are on the track and not on the train. Ask God for strength to ride out the crazy train of life. He will board the train with you. He will answer and give you strength to ride out the journey. Say to those fearful hearts, Be strong, do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with ven vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. Direction There are many times in life when you do not know if you are going in the right direction. You do not know if it is where God is leading you. Pray for clarity in direction. Let him show you. Let him show you your path. It will take patience and trust, but he will always answer. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will cons counsel you with my loving eye on you. Amen. 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 The Creed We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven was incarnate from the holy spirit and the virgin mary and was made a man for our sake he was crucified under pontius plate this uh, he, he suffered death and was buried on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of intercessions. We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life.
The peace of the Lord be always be uh, with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of uh, bread and a glass of uh, non-alcoholic wine, wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise holy father heavenly king almighty and eternal god through jesus christ your son our lord for he is your living word through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross you raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions therefore we angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who is in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, 
he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember this offering of him, Himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim His mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord amen Christ is risen Christ will come again amen accept through him our great high Lord this our sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty renew us by your spirit inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son jesus christ our lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and glory and are yours now and forever Amen. If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sin of the world grant us peace amen giving of communion most merciful lord your love compels us to come in our hands were unclean, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom Amen God's holy gifts for God's holy people Jesus Christ is holy Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father, Amen. You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, 
keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always Amen it is the end of the service go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Jesus Amen at exit you should tell I give over my past to the mercy of God my presence for the love of God and my future of God's protection Amen